Hi guys. So I was just sitting here in prayer and uh, and I I don't know I was just praying and I looked up and on my wall is a picture that I painted a couple years ago and I began to look at it and I just felt the Lord speak to me and let me know that everything's going to be okay. Because I know that soon a lot of things are going to happen on this earth. And I know in California there's supposed to be a huge earthquake. And it is going to kill a lot of people. A lot of people are going to lose their lives in this earthquake. And there is going to be devastation. Like this world has never seen and um, and I know in Nevada and Las Vegas and the Hoover Dam and I was thinking of all these things that the Lord has shown me um, the dam the Hoover Dam is gonna break and Water's going to fill up, and there's going to be devastation there. And, um, you know, I was, um, uh, let's see, San Diego, Hollywood, San Francisco, uh, destruction will come. And I, as I was looking at this picture, I thought, wow, that looks like a city that's just been engulfed by water. And I never thought of that. And then off in the distance pan out is where I'd be standing with two grassy and then a bridge over troubled waters, right? And this tree was originally supposed to have cherry blossoms on it, like springtime. I don't know why I decided to be a little bit different because I was in a class doing this and I put uh, fall colors on the leaves for the leaves. But uh, anyway, so... Um, I was looking at this little jar, this little baby food jar, and inside uh, there is a piece of Mount Etna, and, and I'll get it. I'm going to show you guys. So here is the baby food jar, and inside, I always keep this inside. See if I can get it out with the phone in my hand. That is a piece of um, Mount Etna. It is a lava rock that came from Mount Etna in Sicily. And I was thinking about it today and I went to go find it. And my aunt brought this back for me. When she would go to, she went to Italy every few months because of her fiance was a lawyer there. And it's really light. Oops. But, um, so I didn't know much about Mount Etna. I just thought, cool, a piece of lava rock from Italy. Um, but I looked it up earlier and it is constantly active. And I just really feel like it's going to cause some severe destruction as well. I felt like the Lord was speaking to me about this and um yeah there's a lot of things that happen in my life that have already been put into place to show me things like um having the horse named two moons my daughter you know we named her horse two moons and just certain things like that and the picture that i painted that 
to me it's prophetic it's a prophetic picture and the way I, now I have this <laughs> there's just certain things certain ways that the Lord speaks to us and you know the Lord says um, let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe on him too because where he goes there are many mansions I think it's John 14 1 through 3 and sometimes we get anxious about the things that are getting ready to come upon America and the world but um you know it's our job to pray for the lost and and pray for these areas that judgment God is going to bring his judgment upon and um, through all this judgment people are going to either cry out to God and give their their life to him you know accept him as Lord and Savior or they um, are going to die in their sins and because because Jesus is the only way um, to have your sins taken away he is the door he is the way, the truth, and the life, and there's no other way into heaven except through Jesus Christ and accepting his, him as Messiah and, 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 you know, our faith in what he did, his finished work on the cross. So, you know, just get a burden for the lost and get a burden for these areas, um, Arizona and uh, Nevada, San Francisco, uh, Washington, Van Olympia and Vancouver, the East Coast. There's a lot of places on the East Coast. But the Lord is faithful and he is true to, um, you know, he made us a promise, and we are not appointed to the day of wrath. That is not for us. The, those are for the wicked. That's for the wicked. And uh, so anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share this with you. And um, just have a, be a little bit encouraging. I know the tone of my voice isn't that encouraging. <laughs> I just don't feel that good today. But anyway, love you guys.